Hey everyone, uh, this is my announcement video that I will be hiking the Appalachian Trail this year. I'm um, going to be starting in March, uh, mid-March, and I'm really excited. I actually mostly only think about doing this, and it's about a month and a half away, and I can't wait. A little bit uh, before we kind of get into like what the App Appalachian Trail is, uh, I wanted to talk about why I am deciding to document it on a video format. Uh, I guess first and foremost is so I can video journal and have something to look back on when I'm finished. But I'd also like to, you know, really take my family along, my friends, and anyone else who wants to kind of see what this is like uh, so they understand what I'm going through, a little bit about my thoughts and my feelings and the experiences that I have along the way. I also wanted to be able to have some kind of creativity or kind of hobby while on the trail. I'm going to be out there for quite some time, so I felt like uh, being able to like film things and document things as I experience them would be a really good way to uh, kind of satisfy that kind of creative side of myself. I really want to be as honest as possible in these videos. Uh, I want to be transparent and to not really kind of sugarcoat anything that happens. I want to give honest feelings that I'm feeling. Uh, my perspectives on things and the people I meet and and just really kind of have like a raw uh, kind of uh, video series that really kind of accurately documents what this kind of journey is like. And I guess a final note would be that uh, these videos are just going to be filmed on my DJI Osmo Pocket, maybe on my phone a little bit too, and they're going to be put together on my phone. Um, all the editing will be done there and uploading. So. Uh, hopefully I can uh, get as creative as possible with the gear that I'm taking. I don't want to take too much of the uh, kind of a camera equipment that I have uh, just because I have to carry everything. So uh, hopefully the videos will turn out well, but just know that that's kind of what's going on. Okay, so what is the Appalachian Trail? Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, the Appalachian Trail basically follows the mountains. But uh, it starts down, it goes from one peak to another peak. And uh, it starts, whether you're starting in the, the south or the north, it doesn't matter. I will be going northbound. So I will be starting in Georgia and finishing in Maine. And more specifically, the trail itself is about 2,200 miles. It starts on Springer Mountain in Georgia and ends on Mount Katahdin in Maine. I will be starting at Amicalola Falls down in Georgia, which uh, adds about another eight miles or so, uh, but it's just a kind of a more convenient place to start, plus beautiful waterfall, why not? Uh, my start date is actually going to be March 17th. I'll be flying out of Salt Lake City on the 16th. My friend who lives in Atlanta will be uh, picking me up and then the next day dropping me uh, off at the trailhead, which is awesome. You're probably wondering when I decided to do this, if you know me, uh, and <clears throat> the answer is I've wanted to do it for a few years, uh, but I didn't really decide until uh, just last October, and uh, I've kind of been planning on it ever since. I was originally going to start in uh, the middle of April, uh, but I kind of got too excited, so I bumped it up a month, so yeah. And I guess a, a question a lot of people might have is, how am I doing this? Um, maybe not so much. I mean, I, my life's pretty simple, so it's not like I'm leaving like a family or even a partner behind or a mortgage. But, you know, I, I have been saving my money for some time to do this. Uh, I am quitting my job to go do this, selling my car. So if you know anybody who needs a car, I need to sell mine. But uh, yeah, it's it's just one of those things where it's just like it's time, so I'm just gonna make it happen. So that kind of brings me to the question, why am I doing this? Uh, and there's there's quite a few reasons. Uh, it was kind of funny. I uh, I announced it to my department at work uh, this week, and some of the people I work with were like genuinely surprised at even the idea of doing this, which I thought was kind of funny. But uh, what I'm doing isn't anything that's like, well, that's a little crazy, you know, backpacking 2,200 miles. But, you know, I mean, in all reality, uh, it reminds me of uh, this time my uncle was talking to my cousin, who was a big time adventurer. Um, and he made the comment to him that the things that he did were were pretty hardcore. And my cousin's response was, was you know, right on point for him. But he, he said, actually, it's quite pedestrian. 
And I'd like to use that today and say, yeah, it, it, in, in all reality, it, literally, it's pedestrian. I'm just, I'm just walking. Uh, but uh, a lot of people try it every year. Uh, there's thousands of people that attempt uh, a multitude of trails that are about this long uh, every year, and a lot of them finish. So, yeah, while it is probably not the most common thing and a lot of people have not heard of it, uh, it's definitely, uh, I guess, I'm, I'm, this is not something that like I just created out of thin air and like I'm going to go do this huge thing that no one's ever done before. Uh, so no, it's definitely, uh, you know, not unheard of. I'm definitely at a point in my life also where I just can, you know, I'm I don't, like, I'm not married. I don't have any kids. You know, I don't have a mortgage I have to worry about. Um, I, it's just something I can do. So why not? Um, also I love backpacking. Uh, it's always been a passion of mine. And I think this is kind of like the ultimate backpacking experience and I would love to experience it. 2019 was a very, very kind of lazy, lazy year for me. And I got fat. And another reason I'm doing this is because, yeah, I'd like to lose some weight. It's about the only uh, diet plan out there where it's eat whatever you want and still lose weight. Definitely not sustainable. Uh, hiker food is pretty much garbage. And when I get back, there'll definitely be a challenge to keep that weight off. But I think it'll be a good start. So, yeah. Also, you know, for the longest time, I, I don't know, like in my 20s, like I had all these ideas to go do things, mostly travel things. And I always just made, I always just said, no, I want to do that when I'm married. I want to do that with a partner. And it was an I use that excuse to never do anything. And about the time I turned 30, like I stopped doing that and I started going out and doing more things even by myself, actually mostly by myself because, you know, I didn't, I wasn't going to wait around anymore for other people to show up so I could go do what I wanted to do. Uh, so yeah, there's just no more waiting to do the things that, you know, I really want to do. You know, I really expected this to happen maybe in a few years down the road, uh, even from now. Uh, things changed and I'm just I'm just ready to go out there and do it. I also really want to experience a different type of hiking. I've never hiked on the East Coast and I'm kind of really looking forward to like different scenery um, and seeing a different part of the country in a more intimate way. This is also something that something that I've really felt like I need is that I need a reminder that I can do hard things so that I can take obstacles on head on and accomplish and overcome them and uh i think this would be a really great reminder um a lot of people think that this is like a really huge physical accomplishment and they're not wrong um there's definitely a physical aspect to it you talk to any through hiker who's finished a trail this trail or a trail like this they'll tell you that it's mostly mental and there's a lot you need to overcome in that way so that's something i'm really looking forward to is to challenge myself um, in a new way. I kind of feel like I've also been living my life in a more reactive way to where I just kind of like, you know, popped it into cruise control and I've just kind of been coasting for a, for a little while here in the past few years, maybe even five, but I just don't want to do that anymore. You know, I really, I really want to kind of figure out like maybe a new trajectory for myself. Um, uh, maybe a shift in my paradigm, if you will. But like, I just want to kind of figure out a little bit more about the direction I want to go next. I think that by walking 2,200 miles in the woods for, you know, five to six months might help me figure that out. Uh, hiking's always kind of brought a certain uh, level of clarity to my mind. So I think by being out in it all the time for a long period will uh, definitely help me kind of maybe figure that out. And if I don't, I'm sure I'll have a great time anyways. And lastly, I guess on a more personal note, and I don't want to go into this too much, but, um, you know, I, I, I lost my brother-in-law last year and losing him really kind of brought a new perspective to my life and made me realize some, some areas in which I really feel like uh, I wanted to change. And, and it also brought an overwhelming feeling of not waiting anymore to do or to pursue your dreams and your passions. He was so good at doing that. 
and it's something that I really want to aspire to be good at as well. But I guess that kind of wraps things up for the most part. There's a lot more I'm going to talk about in future videos. Um, I think my next video will probably be like a frequently asked questions and then any questions that anyone wants to leave in the comments below uh, that are asking me about this. It can be about anything. It could be about like preparation, why uh, any more questions, why I'm deciding to do this, uh, about my gear, whatever. I'm happy to answer any of it. Um, so if you are interested and you want to have any specific question asked, just uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, but I, I think I'll probably be my next video. I'll do some gear videos and some other ones in the future before. I want to do a few pre-trail videos before I actually get on the trail and start hiking. So yeah, if you want to follow along, um, just subscribe to the videos if you want. Again, mainly I'm kind of making these so like for myself to like be able to reflect on later and to kind of bring anyone who wants to join me along uh, the trail. So uh, look forward to doing more of these. Hopefully I'll keep up with it and uh, hopefully I'll be able to create some good content for everybody and and be truthful and honest about, you know, what I'm experiencing. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.